You've heard me advise people to burn your recipes because I see cooking meals as a personal art form, a personal kind of kitchen culinary expression. Uh, you know, so home cooking recipes are especially useful if you're looking for new ideas and new inspirations, and recipes are useful for cooking meals when you want to try and duplicate something exactly. And there are things that recipes do tell you. They tell you the ingredients, uh, they tell you weights and measures, they tell you temperatures and degrees, time, they tell you what to do, the steps. Well, I always make a, a analogies between cooking and music, and uh, sheet music uh, doesn't tell the piano player certain things. There are variations in tone, intonation, pace, his interpretation. Similarly, there are things that recipes don't tell you. Recipes don't tell you variations of ingredients or possible substitutions if you don't have it. Recipes don't tell you combinations of measurements or what to do about mistakes in measuring. They don't tell you about variations in oven temperatures, in stove temperatures, in what your pan is made out of, in variations in time. They really don't tell you why you're taking the steps that you do. I'm not celebrity chef impressed, um, you know, with one exception. I like Alton Brown, and uh, he tells you why you do things. Well, I love to make popovers. Alton Brown has a popover recipe. I watched his popover video and immediately said, wow, that's a lot of salt that he puts in there. But it's Alton Brown, so I went ahead and made it, and you know what? Wow, they were salty to my taste. Even me. <laughs> I went because that's what the recipe said. There were so many things that it didn't tell me. So next time this is what I want to do. I want to take some cookbooks out at home that I use for inspiration and for cooking meals, and I want to point out some of the ways that I know that these recipes are broken.